Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with an E, and I am participating in a tag uh, today. It is um, the Clean Your House tag, and it was hosted by Lacey over at Lacey Space, and I was tagged by my YouTube sister, Sharon, over at the Boss Lady 76 CS. So I'm going to go ahead and answer all these questions. There are 10 questions, so I'm going to try to be quick and not be super chatty. But anyway, let's get started. Um, the first one is, how often do you clean your house? Um, I clean my house weekly, and we kind of straighten up uh, as we go. Um, there are, uh, what, five people in this house, and um, everybody kind of cleans up behind themselves. But as far as deep cleaning is concerned, I'm usually the one that's kind of mopping and, and wiping stuff down and making sure that it's clean, clean, not just surface clean. So once a week, uh, usually on Saturday or Sunday, I do my cleaning. Do you have a certain style or a method of cleaning? Not really. I just clean. Um... I don't know if they call it a, it's a mama style. Got to get what the kids left behind. I guess that's the style if I'm going to put. <laughs> but I know they're talking about like method cleaning or area cleaning. No, not really. I just, um, however I feel. Because I'm, I'm a moody old person. So there may be times when I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm just in a cleaning spur and it's in the middle of the week. I will be clean. So... No, I don't have no rhyme or reason. I just make sure my house is clean. Okay. What is your least favorite room or area to clean? Least favorite? The garage would be it because it's not really, it's part of the house, but it's not really part of the house. And as always, it's the catch-all for our house. So everything gets put out there. And so when I go to tackle it, it's just a chore. Because actually the rest of my house, I, I don't mind cleaning any of the rooms. I mean, that's including the bathroom. I guess because for the most part it's clean. So I never have to do any, you know, super pull out, move around. Got to, oh, like I do with the garage. So the garage would be my least favorite spot to clean. Okay, what is your favorite room or area to clean? Um, Actually, I guess... It would be, I guess it would either be my bathrooms because they're quick and easy or my bedroom because usually I'm moving stuff around, sprucing up. And so it's a combination of clean and decorating. So I guess that would be my rooms that I most like to clean. Okay. And then it says, what is your least favorite chore to do? Wash dishes hate washing dishes, always have hated washing dishes. When they made the dishwasher affordable for everybody, I was like, yes! But anyway, washing dishes. I hate washing dishes. Um, I prefer to get stuff out the way right away because I hate to wash a sink full of dishes. It's my least favorite thing to do. Okay, and okay, what is your favorite chore to do? Um, I guess my favorite chore would be dusting and um, wiping down surfaces. That's probably another reason why my walls stay clean and different things. Because I will wipe something down just to make sure that there's no dirt, no grime. And I can't, I can't stand like build up. So I'm constantly just wiping stuff off. <laughs> And I don't know when I when it's time to clean the take everything off and make it all nice again. It refreshes my soul anyway, so it makes me feel good. So my favorite thing to do, I guess, is dusting or wiping things down. What is your favorite cleaning brand supply of tool? Hmm. I don't. I don't know if I have a particular cleaning brand that I like. I know from my toilets, um, the Works. It's um, in a blue bottle. Uh, I'll show it to you. But the Works, that stuff works. 
It is it definitely works. It gets rid of rust. It gets rid of scale. Um, it gets rid of rust in clothes. You know, if you had got something on your clothes, rust ink, it, it actually gets that out too. I tried it one time just because it was good with everything else I had put it on. So, but um, if I have a brand of loyalty, something that I buy and I don't look for a substitute, that would be it. Other than that, whatever works. I mean, I'm not really, really picky. Um, I like Pine Saw. I like Comet. There are certain ones that I go to, but if they're not available, I will pull something else off the shelf. Okay, let me see. What is a cleaning solution or product you don't recommend? Hmm. I'm not, mm, I don't know. Mm. I don't have anything that that I can think of off the top of my head that I said, oh, I would never buy that again. And, I, and they are probably a couple and I just never bought them again. And so that was one time and that was it. And so now I can't remember what they are, but I don't, I don't have anything that was that left that much of a distaste in my mouth that I have keep having it on my mind. So it's not on my mind. I don't I don't know. So I would have to say I at this point I don't know. <laughs> if I think of it before um if I think of it by the end of this video when I do my edit I'll pop it in over my head. Okay, let's see. Um can you share some of your favorite cleaning hacks with us? Okay. Well, I'm a mother of six and all my kids are grown now, but when they were all at home, hands on the walls and the light fixtures and I mean the, the light switches and different things, I have went to um, other people's homes that have multiple children and I know where it you know, the dirt collects because everything they touch, they got dirt on their hands from outside, they eating food, whatever they touch, especially when you got multiples, they will leave a trail of dirt along your railings, your light switches, your doors. And so for me, uh, especially if you have a lot of children in and out, I try to hit those spots daily or every other day. That way there's no buildup. So as when I go around the house, especially at nighttime, or if I only got to it once a week, because sometimes your days can be long and they can be hectic, especially if you got multiple kids, they run into games and, and recitals and dance hall and all this other craziness. But I've tried my best to make sure that I went around with a spray bottle of something, whether it be Windex, all purpose cleaner, pine saw, whatever, took my rag and wiped those areas down. It makes a world of difference because those are the high traffic areas and those are the areas that are the hardest to get back clean once you let them get too grungy. And so I just kind of made it my point to always keep those areas just wiped down. Because if you just do it once a week at least, at least once a week, you won't have to worry about repainting and doing a whole lot of other things that come with all that nastiness. And then these are the areas that your kids touch the most, which means they're grimy and they they have germs in them. So if you clean them off, my kids were hardly ever sick. So I just think that that's a good hack or a good uh, tip for keeping your house clean. Because I had a girlfriend once come over. She had four boys too. And she said, how do you keep your walls so white? It wasn't my walls. It was just those high traffic areas <laughs> that I kept wiped down. And so it made the rest of the, the room look clean. But it was not always. <laughs> so anyway, that's my tip. Um, have you or do you or would you <laughs> have a cleaning company come into your home to clean? Why and why not? I have never, um, and I'm not now, but I would. And I just haven't, because I haven't dove into it. But if I did have um, 
a budget set aside to have somebody come in. And I would have them come in once a month. And I would have them come in and do my baseboards, my ceiling fans, my stair, the in between the spindle stairway. Because these are areas that I try to tackle and they're the most time consuming and the dustiest. And so if I had somebody come in once a month to take care of that, I wouldn't do it. So that's, and that's what I would pay them to do. To go on, get on the floor and do all my baseboards which is what I do now but get all my baseboards clean and make sure that the dust in between the spindles and all my ceiling fans are dusted because that's probably what I hate to do the most and when I take the time to do it it's the most time consuming out of everything else that I do so that was number 10 so I am complete and I am going to, um, this, uh, I was supposed to do this last week and I didn't get a chance to get it up and get it posted. So this is like a week behind and I know there are a lot of people that have already been tagged and probably some of the people that I'm going to tag, they may have already been tagged, but that's fine. Um, I'm just going to tag two people because I didn't see a video up. And so if you got tagged and you like me, hadn't got it up yet, then you just been tagged twice. And for all of you that want to do this tag, feel free. It's an open tag. And the playlist is up over at Lacey's Space. And you can add your own um, video to her playlist. So feel free. I am tagging Heidi Sambu and Nichelle at the Linus Lane. So for you two ladies, hope you get a chance to do this tag. Let me know that you've done it so I can go over and watch the rest of the playlist if anybody's added to it. And I hope you enjoyed what I had to say. All right. Thanks for watching. Toodles.